Today, we're going to be baking the base color of this procedural material. If texture baking is a new concept to you, I recommend watching this video here. This will give you a rundown of what baking is. For now though, I'm going to jump straight into the tutorial. To start off, I'm going to press H to hide my cube. Press Shift A, under mesh, a left click cube. Then, if you have your shader editor open, which you can just click this drop down here if it's the timeline, and change it to the shader editor, or if I come to my material properties, I can click one of these drop downs beside the plus two, and I'll change it. After 30 seconds or so, it should load up. Now, I'm going to drag up my shader editor, and I'm going to press Shift A, then under texture, a left click, image texture. This is what I'm going to bake my base color onto. Then, in the top left hand corner, I'll drag this out, and I'm going to change this drop down from the 3D viewport to the UV editor. Then I'll press tab into edit mode and now you can see our UV. We've got this default cross UV but there's a slightly more optimal UV we can do using the smart UV project. So I'll press A, U and left click smart UV project. Then I'll change my island margin to 0.03. Now we've got our UV set up. I'm going to press plus new on our image texture and I'm going to call it base color. Here we can decide what the resolution of our image will be. We want to make it the same width as the height. Keep in mind the higher the resolution the more performance it would use inside of Blender and other softwares when being used as a texture. I want to change this to a 2K texture, so to do that I'm going to quickly drag and scroll down and I'll press my right arrow key, press shift, then the 8 key to get star icon, and then 2, and that will times that number by 2, and now we have 2048 by 2048. You can also just type these in manually. If you need to, you can check off this alpha button, but for now I'm not going to worry, and I'm just going to press OK. You can see in our UV editor, they've put the texture behind our UV. I'm going to keep my color space as sRGB Color space is important as some of the other bakes we'll do in future tutorials will use a different color space. Now I'm going to click my render properties. Make sure I'm in cycles since texture baking only happens in cycles. In my render settings I'm going to change my min samples back down to zero and a max sample 10 since for baking we don't need a high sample count. Down at the bottom here I'm going to change my bake type from combined which it should be by default to diffuse. I'm going to make sure influence direct and indirect are off because those are used for light maps. If you do encounter any issues when you're doing this, make sure all your settings are the same as mine. Then I'm going to press Control S to save my file, since sometimes baking can cause Blender to crash. And I'll just press Bake. After a couple minutes have passed, the bake should finish, and here we will have our result. Keep in mind, if you chose a much higher resolution when creating our image texture, for example a 4K texture, the bake will take a lot longer. But you can hover over the percentage to figure out the estimate of how long it will take. Keep in mind, my version of Blender is 3.6, and this may not be available in earlier versions. Now that's finished, we'll need to press Ctrl S to save our file, and we're also going to need to make sure we save our image, since if we were to close Blender, the image would not be saved since it's not packed into Blender. So so I'll press image and then I'll choose save as and I can find the location on my computer to save the image. You'll also notice how our image has this checkered pattern underneath and that's because we checked the alpha option when creating our image texture. There's two steps to using our image texture in Blender. If I was to remove the base color from our color ramp and then plug in the base color into the base color of the shader and now I can just plug my color of my texture into the base color of our shader. It seems to be using the UV coordinates by default but just to be safe I'm going to press shift A then then under input, I'll left click texture coordinate and plug my UV into the base color. Some of you might have noticed already, but we've got a couple of lines for our bake here. And that's because we haven't set a margin. So to fix this issue, I'm going to left click my base color and I'll give myself a margin of, let's say, 8. Now I just need to take my base color for my procedural material back into the base color, since that's what we're going to be baking from. I'll reselect my base color texture. And now with our margin set to 8, we can just go ahead and press bake. Now that's finished, if we plug the base color of our base color texture back into base color, you can see the lines are now gone. Also, you'll notice beside image there's a star, and that indicates that a change has occurred and it needs to be saved. So I'll press image, and then press save, and it will save automatically in the location you've chosen. Keep in mind, this will override the image we baked on top of. And there we have it, we now have our base color texture, which you can go ahead and use in other blend files, and in other softwares such as game engines and other 3D animation programs. Also if you use them in Blender, it saves Blender having to calculate all this different stuff every time you load it up. Instead it will only have to focus on loading up an image. But with that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and if you did enjoy, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and share with someone if you think they would find it useful. Thank you again and take care.